Let's have a look at how uh, you can manage your contacts within the Rhino app. Um, so you can access your contacts by clicking on the Rhino menu up here and selecting contacts. We can see a list of all of your contacts and we have a little filter up at the top where you can input the contact name. Uh, you could input little search tags and search tags are like keywords uh, that you can assign against uh, each contact just to group them. Um, if you've got a contact and they're linked to a company, you don't have to, but if they are, then you can also input the company name and it'll quickly filter all the people that work for that company. We have another nice feature up here just to help you keep this list nice and clean. Um, if you're no longer uh, actively working with a particular contact, this could be a customer or a supplier, then what you can do is you can just uh, deactivate them and they'll move from this list over to this list. If we now click on a contact, we'll look at the information that we store against a contact. So uh, we've got those keywords or search tags. Uh, you've got the company. Uh, you don't have to link it to a company, but uh, but you can also, you, you've got that option as well. Um, you can input a couple of phone numbers, a couple of email addresses, and their home address. Uh, some nice features, if you click on this, um, it'll invoke uh, any telephone technology that you've got installed on your desktop, like Skype. Um, this will invoke uh, the email, so you can quickly email someone. Um, if we look at some of the other entries down here, um, if you're using Rhino for invoicing, um, you can have standard terms and conditions uh, that will appear in all the invoices. But if you want to override that with specific terms and conditions for any given customer, then you can just type them in here. Um, a contact can be a customer. They can also be a supplier. They could be both. Um, and this is the archive button or the active button, which would dictate whether um, the contact appears on this list or on this list. Um, another really nice feature within the app is that when you look at a contact, you can see all of the appointments, um, all of the notes and all the documents that you've got stored against that contact. Um, you can configure the appointments where you have to tick them off as you do them just to make sure that you've actually done everything. And then any overdue appointments will appear up here as a little alert. Um, you can store multiple notes against uh, a contact just to track all of the history. Um, and you can also store documents. Uh, so this could be a PDF. And on your phone, you can actually take a photograph of a document and they'll be stored in here. Uh, finally, to help you get up and running quickly, uh, you can import your contacts. Um, on the web. If you're using it on the web, then you can import it. Uh, using you can download um, a template an Excel template uh, you can populate that and then you simply attach it and upload it and that will load in all of your contacts there's another little view of this um, and this is where we now look at the company view so we click at companies if you're using this feature and you can click on um, a company and you can see all of the contacts that are associated with that company and that the company would have um, website details and the overall company number and so on. So I um, hope you found this useful. Uh, it's, it's very simple. Um, all of this information is stored securely, shared across your team should you hire anyone. Um, and as you enable more and more features, uh, so we'll just enable very quickly. So under system settings, we have users and user types. Um, so for this particular user type, we're just going to enable estimating. And if we click back and we now look at a contact, we can now see that estimates appear. And uh, we can now access all the estimates or invoices, whatever we enable. Uh, and we can see all of that information for any given contact. So it's really easy to use uh, and so on. But we'll cover this in more detail in a future video. Thank you for watching.